guys welcome back to my channel so in today's video i'm going to be doing my nails with you guys so if you guys want to see how i do my french tip nails then please keep on watching this is a very highly requested video you guys and i figured since i'm doing my nails right now I might as well record it for you guys so these are the tools that you're going to need and pretty much majority of these items are either from amazon or beyond polish i do have a discount code for you guys from beyond polish you guys can use my code Yelena 10 I'll put it on the screen for you guys um, and you guys can get any of the OPI gel products 10% off their website and also many more items they have regular nail polish they have dipping powders they have so much more so make sure you guys go check them out I also even got this little pouch from them so yeah it's this OPI little pouch and I'm obsessed with it I have all my nail tools in there so pretty much what you're going to need is you're going to need a drill. So I'm going to be refilling my nails. So these are how my nails. Also, please don't mind my self-tan. I did not wash it off yet. Um, I'm letting it develop so I look insane and it kind of looks blotchy, but it's okay. So yeah, um, we're going to refill my nails because if you guys are new here, I have OCD when it comes to my nails. Like I need my nails done every week. I hate dry cuticles. I hate outgrown cuticles. So yeah, I'm going to be doing my nails on camera and showing you guys how I do my French tip. I also just recently got these little um, brushes from Amazon, if my camera focuses, let's focus. Anyways, there are these really, really um, thin French tip brushes. I'm not sure my camera is not focusing. Come on camera. <laughs> but anyways, there are these really, really, really thin uh, brushes at the top where I, I will be able to draw my French tip really precisely. So I really love that. I'm gonna be using this. Um, so you can get this from Amazon. I believe the brand is There we go. That's the brand. So you guys can just search that up on Amazon. And they were ten dollars. It was three. Comes in a pack of three, which is amazing. Um, and then you're gonna need a file to file your nails. I do not know why my camera is doing this. Okay, there we go. You're gonna need a file to file your nails. So yeah, you're gonna also need a drill. This is the drill that I'm using. It's from Amazon. It's from the McCart uh, company. I really, really like this drill, and I've used it for years now, and it's amazing. So if you guys just search this up. I'm sure you'll find it. Um, you're gonna need cuticle cutters. These are from Revlon, so they are, um, I believe, from Walmart. And then this comes with the drill, top pieces for the drill, so I can change them out. You're gonna need some cotton balls, alcohol, and then these are the colors I'm gonna be using. So I'm gonna be using Bubble Bath as my base, and then Alpine Snow as the French, like the to draw on the French. And then for top coat, I'm going to be using the same brand, OPI Gel Color, uh, and this is the one. And as I said, you guys can use my code Yelena10 from Beyond Polish to get money off any of these products. Oops. <laughs> and then you're going to need a cuticle oil. I love to put on cuticle oil after I'm done my manicures. And I think I covered everything. And then my lamp, I believe, is from Amazon as well. So um, you guys can probably just search up the name. And it'll come up and yeah let's just get right into it i also do have a bunch of like nail products in here um i have more files i have more like drill pieces um and yeah so it's where i keep all my stuff i also am wearing a mask because i'm gonna be grinding like filing my nails and i don't want all the i don't want to inhale all the excess of that so i'm gonna be wearing a mask so make sure you guys uh wear a mask as well and yeah let's just get right into first it. thing that i'll be doing is I actually already did this hand. You guys can see my cuticles look freshly cut. They look smooth. They look nice. They look hydrated. And then the side does not. <laughs> you guys can see they look very dry. They do not look good. And I'm so sorry about my self-tan hands. I feel like they really are not <laughs> looking nice right now. But I'll show you guys in a different lighting. They're not that bad. I feel like just the lighting in here. And I also have flash on and a bunch of different lights. Um, it looks worse than it is, but... Yeah, I'll show you guys in another lighting after I'm done everything. But yeah, this is my hand that I already did. And then this is the other hand. And also to mention, these are my natural nails. I get questions all the time asking me if these are tips or anything. No, these are my natural nails. So basically, because my nails are very fresh right now and they're still pretty good, um, there's not much growth, I'm just going to refill them. So I'm just going to file it down and then just reapply, reapply the bubble bath color. 
and yeah so i'll show you guys how i do my refills so if you guys are interested then please keep on watching Alrighty, you guys so the first thing i'm doing is i'm taking my drill and i'm putting it on a very low setting and then filing down the first layer of my nails So this is how my nails look after I filed them all down. So the next thing I'm doing is I'm taking alcohol and disinfecting my cuticle cutter and also disinfecting my nails. And the most satisfying part is cutting my cuticles. So I love freshly cut cuticles. I find they are the key to a perfect manicure. So you want to be extra, extra careful when you're cutting your cuticles because you can cut yourself really badly. So make sure you guys go slowly. And then after I've cut my cuticles, I usually go in and file my nails. So I like my nails very, very square. I usually square off the edges as well. Like I don't round them or anything. I like them very sharp. So that's what I'm doing. So this is how my nails look once I've shaped them and now I'm going in with Bubble Bath by OPI Gel and I'm applying the first layer of this to my nails. So you want to make sure you're applying very thin layers of Bubble Bath. So because I'm a perfectionist when it comes to my nails, I'm taking one of the brushes I got off of Amazon, basically filling in areas that I wasn't able to get close enough to when I was painting my nails originally. So I'm going to finish off doing the rest of my nails and I'll show you guys how it looks after. So I put two coats of bubble bath and that is it. So now I'm going to start doing my French. So I'm taking the brush I got off of Amazon and I'm taking Alpine Snow by OPI Gel and just dipping the brush a little bit in so I can get the color. Alrighty guys, so now I'm drawing my French and you guys, these brushes make French so easy to do. The key is just take your time and do it the way that you like. If you like a thicker French, draw it thicker. If you like it thinner, you can draw it thinner. I like it usually thinner, so I'm keeping it thin, um, but it's so easy as you guys can see. I'm just drawing it really, really slowly.
So I do two coats of the French so the color is very, very white and bright. So after I've cured the French, I file my nails one last time. And then I'm going in with my top coat. So I'm using the OPI gel color top coat and applying one thin coat of this. And then after I've cured the top coat, I'm going in with alcohol again and taking a cotton ball and just rubbing the first layer off my nails because the top coat does um, get sticky after I've cured it. So I'm just rubbing it off. And then I'm applying some cuticle oil. I love cuticle oil, you guys. I literally apply it every day, multiple times a day. I keep it in my purse. Like I always have cuticle oil on me. I love freshly hydrated cuticles, as you guys know. Just rubbing them in. And this is how my nails turned out, you guys. I'm so obsessed with them. I love French and I'm so happy that I can do it myself now. And it's so much easier with those brushes as I showed you guys. Um, and they're so cheap, like it's so easy to do. And yeah, I'm just so happy with the way they turned out. They look so good. Let me know what you guys think and let me know if you end up trying any of these products down below in the comments. And yeah, that is it for today's video, you guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you in my next video. Bye.